Praise the Lord, everybody. God bless you. I'm excited to come your way again. If you're new on this platform, my name is Samuel E. Molombe, the man God uses. Welcome today in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Family, I am back with another prophetic word or some word from God. And yes, I'm excited every time I have to bring the word of God to you. I'm very excited. And this one is so special. I have my notes because I didn't want to miss out some very important things that he was saying to me. Um, I received this word two days ago. I've been meditating on it. And it's just been coming so strong. Right there, I was doing something. And I felt in my spirit, like, I have to do it right now. I have to drop everything I was doing and make time to record this word. Like, there was this, I had to do it. I had to just do it, and I had to do it now. And I believe that this is because someone right here is about to be transformed forever in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, family, the Lord is saying this has to do with your transformation. This has to do with your transformation, right? Um, you have taken up a personal journey um, to transformation. Your transformation um, has you looking like brand new. You are literally just another person. Um, and that's the talk of their camp. That's the talk of their day. Everyone is talking about it, right? They're talking about the fact that, yeah, you are different. They notice you're different. They notice. Probably you have just taken a new journey um, to be more conscious about your health. Maybe you are hitting the gym even more seriously now. Or it's just a spiritual transformation journey where you are really um, you know, focusing on the things of God. You are getting to know God more for yourself. Whatever it is that you are doing, this word is coming as a confirmation to you that it is working hallelujah it's working it's working it's clear it's very clear that something is different about you they cannot deny it they cannot deny it you know the bible says that you are the light of the world a city that is built on a hill that cannot be hid no that's what the bible says you are god did not say you will be made it says you are the light of the world. You are already the light of the world. You are a city that is built on a hill. And you, you, you cannot be here. The Bible says that's who you are. That's who you are. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Also, God is saying that nobody hides a candle and puts it under the table. The light of the world cannot be hid, right? Nobody can hide you. God says because your transformation is so so rapid so glorious now the, the, they're talking about it you are the talk of the city you are the talk of the when they sit down together yes it's you they're analyzing everything that you're doing they're analyzing every every little thing that you are engaged in they're analyzing it they're saying wow look at it. and that's because god has risen up on you and just awesome things are happening awesome things are happening awesome awesome things are happening now there are three things i want you to know um the first thing is when you change situations change when you change the environment around you change when you change the approach change you see you're going to experience people treating you differently more honor more respect they will they will speak to you less as often and it's not because um you are less valuable it's because you are more valuable when you increase in value truth is you are going to have a smaller circle people tend to gravitate around cheap things a lot and the more expensive it is the fewer people go close to it you have become more valuable and they're going to ask they're going to they're going to associate you with more value and that will reduce the number of people that come around you it's not because they're hating on you it's just a natural change that happens because of how great you are becoming 
The next thing you should be sure to see is that you are you are going to attract a lot of stares. Have you ever just been passing and then people can't take their eyes off you? You're like they're staring a lot. This guy is staring at me too much. This one is staring. Yeah, because your transformation is visible. You are doing it. The Lord says that you are doing it. You're making it happen. Your transformation is visible. You attract a lot of stares. Put your head high. The Lord has put you on the spotlight. The Lord has put you on the spotlight. Because you are on the spotlight, keep going. Keep going. Don't shy away from what God is doing. Don't shy away from what is already happening. Keep going. Walk with your head so high that everyone who see you know that you did not mistakenly get to where you are. You deliberately walked your way to that point. It's just amazing to know that, you know, um, your hard work is paying off right now. You worked so hard to be different. The third thing is those who left thinking that this is all about you will begin to try to come back. They'll be finding ways back because now this remodified, this rebranded, version of you is so attractive so attractive they want to come back but they're not coming back because they love you they are coming back to have a, a bite coming back to have a taste of the new glory you have gotten into it's more about what they can get and how satisfied they can be with you being around them than actually for you right so you should know that these are the things that come with the transformation that has happened but well the Lord says, look at you. You're looking brand new. You're looking brand new. You're fulfilling scripture that says, Arise, shine, your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen up upon you. Look at you. You reflect the glory of the Supreme God. That's awesome. Jesus Christ is exalted in your life. The Bible says that when you lift him up, he draws all men to himself. I want you to channel this attention you are getting or will be getting in this season back to God. Let people who come around you know that it is the glory of the Lord that is over you. So there's a prophetic thing we're going to do. We're going to type and declare, I vow to give God all the glory. Put that in the live stream and the comment section, I'm sorry. If you will do it, I vow to give God all the glory. I vow to give God all the glory. Everyone that comes and across this video and you watch till this point, I need you to type and declare, I vow to give God all the glory. And that is exactly what God will do. He will pour out grace and glory on you because he knows that you will not tamper with his glory. I declare the Lord bless you. I declare the Lord keep you, cause his face to shine on you and be gracious to you in Jesus' name. The shalom of God, nothing missing nothing broken. I love you and God bless you. Shalom.